what's going on everybody so we just got the update live inside the game a little bit ago so i want to talk about all the new technology and of course the new kit for ahmad uh first things first though uh we because we just merged and all this type of stuff we're able to kick like a million different people from the guild this is dan's old guild i happen to be the uh you know the leader now i guess <laughs> uh but uh i just wanted to invite anyone who might be looking for a guild on the na servers i'm not actually sure which one's merged but if you can you know potentially join and if you want to join let me know you could send me a message on discord and i'll just you know drop you in or you can just said an invite to relapse and i can check out the applications there but anyone that wants to join feel free to do so um and uh yeah so that's that first things first though we gotta talk about i guess second thing second i talk about the commander technology so i've been checking this out and unfortunately for many of you this system is going to be completely worthless and the reason i say that is because this is purely for pvp every single bonus that you see here are pvp bonuses and just to walk you through um well let's uh let's see um just like the first one uh, well they're all basically the same okay first off they're all basically the same you can look through here all of them have the same text so we're going to walk through one of them um the only difference is like if you look here it talks about like atlas um when fear and terran so if you pick certain ones certain bonuses are going to either increase the damage that you deal or decrease the damage that you receive so essentially each one is broken down into six different bonuses but realistically it's like two different bonuses just depending on which faction so you can see here terran assault when three four or five terran heroes are deployed in pvp allied heroes and summons deal increased damage so for example i leveled up my grace here um that goes 12 18.2 and 24 percent so 24% at level five is a massive bonus to damage um, or damage reduction. That is just absolutely insane. So a lot of your PVP comps now are going to be faction focused and class focused. Because remember, Grace here, it's attached to a specific commander. So let's say I wanted to run a Grace. Well, that means that I'm probably going to be running mostly energy characters. That means that I want to mostly run energy terran characters which is a little unfortunate right because you can only get one of these bonuses you can't get like well, the one for the terran and the atlas one because you need three members so that's not possible so you want to at least run three to four terran atlas when fear characters whatever in your pvp comps now um in terms of upgrading it well all of them require as you can see i've already upgraded it a little bit the G modules, which is extremely cheap. Basically, every single player in the game can probably just level up all of them to five at this point. So you can get the basic bonuses, right? Which is what I'm going to do. But then after which you are going to need these gene evolution cores. And well, as far as I could see, the only place I could find them is in the new guild shop. So where is it? Uh, the guild shop here. So you could buy the gene ev evolution cores there. Um, and you can see there's the gene breakthrough core and the other gene breakthrough core. So you can buy it using the guild purchase certificates every single week. Alongside that, there are the new combat amplifiers increasing your um, damage or, uh, you know, well, basically just increasing your damage. That's type two. This one's, uh, uh, well, this one's type two again. So I guess both of them are specifically for just increasing your DPS. And then I guess the Comet Amplifier also increases your DPS, but those are a little bit worse. So pretty simple stuff. Nothing like too exciting about the technology, to be honest. I was really hoping that these are going to be some PVE bonuses because that's what mostly people focus on. But having PVP bonuses, I guess, are cool simply for the fact that well, I guess now you can min-max certain PvP comps. So I guess that's somewhat cool. But I'm going to have to redo all of my arena comps now because I would like to take advantage of the, you know, new damage reduction and damage bonuses that you're going to be getting. All right. So that's that. And the other thing that we have inside the game is Ahmad, right? Ahmad looks pretty crazy. Now, there was a little bit of an issue. I'm not sure if it's adjusted inside the game now. But they did let us know a little bit ago. Um, if you look, <coughs> where is it? If we look here on Discord, you could see um, literally last night after the update, we found a, a problem with Amat's passive skill. 
the skill description over passive skills missing an effect so um, you can see here for a period of time after entering battle Amat takes less damage and you can see Amat reduces incoming damage by 70 percent after en entering battle for 20 seconds so that's the little change that they made in terms of the description so in terms of Amat what she's offering well let's walk through her kit real quick Sandma ultimate summons an alligator that bites all targets in the area dealing damage prioritizing the closest targets and you can see here um in terms of like a little bit bonuses if the huge alligator hits the same target three times it deals damage additional equal to 90 percent of the targets lost hp and pve modes it's going to do 3000 percent of amat's attack so a lot of people were wondering okay well if this ultimate's an aoe ultimate how are we going to get it to work for crimson abyss because that's what i was hoping for well the talent effect is kind of exactly something that i was um you know looking for for crimson abyss so that could be really really big it also instantly executes targets with hp below 15 percent with the exclusive effect um i believe that's going to be her exclusive 30. Uh, and you can see it does not work against elites or bosses but does increase the damage of the huge alligator against elites or bosses so again another bonus to things like crimson abyss for example the first common ability here um, or i guess the second one if we're going in reverse she summons one small alligator up to one um that's because we haven't upgraded it or add anything small alligator increase uh inherits a certain amount of amat's attack defense and hp when a small alligator dies or disappears they activate the death effect and it increases the damage from amat's ultimate skill up to 12 percent up to 10 times and it can increase up to 15 percent so another 150 percent damage by Amat's ultimate skill and then decreases the, the cooldown for the next use of her air of the wastelands by one second with the talent effect and the exclusive effect can now summon one additional alligator so now two alligators her first common ability she summons a scale of justice dealing damage to targets within five meters if there are no enemy targets near Amat then this skill will be activated by Amat's illusion above the closest target the talent effect if there are three enemies on your side of the battlefield um, and increases the damage and the radius the exclusive effect additionally releases a stream of souls dealing damage um, equal to a percentage of her attack and pushing them away so pretty cool there and then her passive here during the hero formation or during a battle amat can be considered as a when fear hero so they are a when fear character kind of interesting actually um are they are they not a when fear character i don't understand like if i look in the gallery are they are they not a when fear character are they they're atlas okay so why why that then i guess a design thing a thematic thing okay i guess so <laughs> with a total dis death or disappearance of five allied summoned creatures activate sam out the last creature's uh place of death at no cost dealing damage equal to 60 percent of the ultimate skill wow and when a small alligator dies or disappears it would count them as two creatures and when four creatures that's the exclusive effect um and activates sandmon no cost so kind of similar to anpu right where things die you get an activation of um his explosion effect but now you get the ultimate effect from amat so i guess maybe they kind of wanted to match amat with anpu or something i have no freaking clue why um this character is in atlas character but also now a wenfear character or counts as a wenfear character uh so pretty interesting kit i do think she has potential in the crimson abyss which is what i'm going to be testing on uh or with her soon so stay tuned for that video but let me know what you all think about the new you know edition of uh the new class technology or commander technology now as well as the new character i don't really think that we have much in this update besides that they talked a little bit about like some modifications to like the guild expedition and and, and all of that type of stuff but i don't really know much else that's super important that really changes how we go about in eternal evolution it's really all about that commander technology and the new character and to be honest the commander technology doesn't even interact with basically 90 percent of the game it's just for pvp which again is something that will matter for a lot of you min maxers out there and i know some people will say wait but the whole point of the game is to get pvp and, and to climb pvp i get it i get it some people think that way let me tell you the vast majority of players do not think that way and could not care less about pvp bonuses that's just how it is so if it works for you and you're excited about it great i know for me i um i don't really care if it 
is in the game or isn't in the game. I think that the fact that it is only PvP makes it less interesting to me. I know I'll be using it because I do do PvP. It's just something that I'm not really interested in like min-maxing or grinding a ton for it. So that's just kind of my opinion on it. But I don't think it's a bad thing for the game. I think it's uh, perfectly reasonable. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing that like causes a lot of detriment to the game. But it's just not something that's like super exciting for the game. And that's because of that it's only related to PvP, I would say. So curious to hear your thoughts. And whoops, I accidentally used my core there. Oh, well. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's what I get for spam clicking. Oh, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know, and I'll see you all in the next one. Just kidding, it's not the end of the video. I just wanted to add really quick here at the end of this video that uh, you can earn some of the gene evolution cores through the guild expedition. Um, so that's something that you want to keep in mind. I don't think I mentioned that in the video because um, I said that was the only way in the shop, but that's actually technically not true. You can also earn some through the guild expeditions. So if you are interested in that PvP upgrade that we talked about, this is the, going to be the way to get it. So make sure you're in a guild, obviously, and make sure you're in a guild that's going to try to push through the guild expeditions. So thanks for watching. Now I'll see you for the next video. <laughs>